What's up guys, it's Uyisa here and we're back for another video. So I haven't done a video like this in a while. It's gonna be a long one because I'm going to be showing you guys what I do being a vending machine operator during the week. So I still work a full-time job and this is basically my side hustle at the moment. And I wanna build it up to a point where it actually makes a lot more money and I can do it full-time, get someone to operate it for me or just grow it to a point where I don't need to work as much as I'm currently working. So to start things off, you see I've got a bunch of stock here that I bought this week. So I started buying more bulk for stock to be able to last me at least two weeks. And if it finishes faster than that, then I buy it for the next two weeks. There's some products that I've seen selling a lot more than the rest or a lot more than usual, such as the Coca-Cola's over here, the 300 milliliter bottles. So I think I needed to actually buy more stock because it sells a lot faster than usual. So I do it on the side after work, after hours, because I can do it. And that's why I like it. And that's why I chose it because it's something that I put a bunch of work setting it up and then I probably worry about it or worry about each machine at least one hour a week per machine. So it's something that I'm really building and the reason why I'm creating this video again is because, like I said, it's been a while since I've done a long form video like this because I have been pretty busy. I'm still providing you guys with the shorts of everything that I do along my journey, along growing this vending machine business. And yeah, this time I just want to show you what I do in a week or what I'm doing in this specific week for my vending machine business. So this is over 2000 Rand worth of stock that I bought for the next two weeks, which I hope will last for the next two weeks, depending on how well things are going or how many sales I make. So that's the first things in that. This is the beginning of the week, it's actually Tuesday. I was supposed to do this on Monday, but uh, ran over time at work. So I did it today, which is a Tuesday. And that's one part of it. And then the previous week, I've been having issues with one of my coin mechanisms. A coin mechanism is basically the mechanism that is kept in the machine that collects the coins and where you put coins in to give out change to people when they buy with cash. So I got from my supplier and also actually my support technician, I'll call him also because he helps me with my technical stuff and technical support. Um, if you guys are interested to know more about him, uh, check out LSG technical support or if he's not on the internet just hit me up and i'll get you in contact with him especially if you are based in johannesburg he's the guy who helped me get started from the technical side of things he serviced my first vending machine and from then on i've always been his customer in terms of buying spares in terms of buying replacement um payment systems so it's been a very good partnership that i've had with him and yeah just to go to the coin make so he basically sent me some stuff, some coin mix. Um, I paid him obviously so that I can replace the one that is faulty. It's coming up with an error constantly. The error that it comes up with is that there's a jam, or I mean, there's a motor break or broken motor or something, but it basically is not allowing any cash to go in or out of the coin mechanism. And I can't fix it. It's a bit too technical for me. I am an operator. I'm semi-technician i would say because i can fix the small things but um things that don't make 100 percent sense to me and i don't have maybe the tools to actually fix the problem i send them out to him and then he sends me a replacement so let's unwrap this thing show you guys what the coin mix look like and then yeah from there i'll tell you what the next part of this week is going to look like in terms of operating vending machines, my vending machines. I have five vending machines at the moment, four which are based in Port Elizabeth or Kalecha, and then the one that is based in East London that my dad is currently operating. And this is something that I know people have been asking about, like ooh, how much time I really spend on my vending machines. So hopefully this will give you an idea. Let's unwrap this thing. So we have one coin mech, we've got a, another coin mech. Uh, well, this coin mech is actually one that I got fixed for one of my clients. 
I had someone, a client of mine that needed the fixing of this coin make. It's a cash flow coin make, that's what it's called. I won't unwrap it now because it's technically not for me, it's for the client. So I will leave this as is and go send, deliver it to the client and then obviously install it for them to test that it's working, etc. And then this one is a Joffema, a Joffema J2000 coin make. This is the one that I will be installing or replacing the one at the location with. Um, I'll show you guys when I'm actually there because I'm going there today. I just wanted this to be the start of the video. But yeah, this is the coin make um, Joffema J2000. It's the one that I use basically for most of my machines except for one. One of them still uses a cash flow um, because it still works, you know. Don't change something if you don't need to change it, especially when it comes to technical things. <laughs> but yeah, this is the one I'll actually unwrap and then replace the one at the vending machine. And then I asked for a box for my note reader because I have a spare note reader um, with me, but I don't have the box. I think I had sent it back to him by mistake when I was replacing one. So he gave me one that I can use to add on to one of my um, note readers. And this is the note reader cash collection box that you basically collect the cash when someone pays for their cash. So yeah, that's basically what I got in terms of spares that I needed for my vending machine. Um, in terms of these things and how much they cost, since it's a swap, it's usually around 750 Rand for that swap. And then fixing this was around 2000 Rand, if I'm not mistaken, but around about 2000 Rand to get it fixed so that I can give the client a working um, coin mechanism. With that being said, I'm actually gonna go to my um, location. Like I said, the reason I bought the stock is the client actually, I have a good relationship with all my clients in that if my vending machines are running low on stock, I request that they send me a picture of the vending machine um, because I'm not able to really track when too many sales have gone through and my stock is at zero. So I just work with the client and say, hey, um, when it's empty or when I'm thinking of restocking, can you please send me a picture? And they send me a picture like this to show me basically that it's completely empty. So when we go to the location, you'll see that's exactly how it looks. And then from there, I'm going to restock the machine. I'll show you when I'm done restocking because this location is a factory, they do manufacturing, so I don't think they'll really allow me to have a camera just standing there, but I'll have like shots of the machine itself. And then I'll show you the three machines that, that are there. There are three vending machines. So at the one, I'm basically gonna restock that machine. The second vending machine, there's an issue that is there that I need to fix in which the cans are not coming out. They're getting stuck. So I think there's a bit of a jam in terms of how they are packed inside the machine. So I'm gonna get fix that up and then I'm gonna replace one of the coin mechanisms, the one that I was talking about that has an error in that specific machine. Um, and then the other machine, I don't think there's anything I'm gonna actually do there. Oh, I'm also collecting cash this week because um, I'm checking all the sales that I made from the previous week. That's how I track how much I make. I don't do it monthly because, um, I don't know why I don't do monthly. I don't do it monthly because I usually um, use that cash to buy more stock if I need to buy more stock. And I just need to be seeing how well it's performing in terms of cash that's being made. But now that I think about it, I could actually collect monthly. If I buy stock for the month, I stock it up for the month and then I collect the cash from the month, buy stock for the following month and then the change is basically what I made for the month and the profit I made for the month. That could be the most ideal way to do it but um, maybe not right now, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, guys, um, that's basically how I'm starting this video. I'll see you guys at the location, the factory, and just show you guys what I need to do. Um, each machine usually takes me an hour each to just sort it out if it has an issue, and also if I need to stock it up. So I'll probably have like two, three hours that I spend there, and then for the rest of the week, I won't have to worry about it. Hopefully not, hopefully no technical issues, but yeah, I'll basically show you guys that part of things and then catch up with you guys after I do all of that. So let's go. 
What's up guys? So as you can see, I've got all the stock that I need to stock up this vending machine. I always start at this Azcoyen Palmer HZ87 combo vending machine because it's the one that tends to make the most sales and near stock out. I finished stocking it up in around 45 minutes and then I just make sure I add up those numbers into my spreadsheet to ensure that I track the stock in the vending machine. And then I move over to my drinks vending machine. This is a Royal Vendors Merlin 3 drinks vending machine. I recently installed a card reader into it to make more sales. And that's what's really been the game changer for this vending machine. Um, because initially it was only coin operated and wasn't making that much sales. And since I've installed the card reader, it has made a lot more sales. Um, this is the result of obviously people using more cards than anything else these days. But the reason I need to actually come to this one is for the coin mechanism. The coin mech wasn't working. It was causing a lot of errors. And every time I reset it, it goes back to the same error once I leave it for a couple of hours. So I had to take it out. Hence why I bought the replacement and replaced it. So now I just need to put in coins into this replacement coin mech and then it should be good to go. I then moved over to my automatic products snack shop model 112 version. I didn't need to do much here as it's still quite fully stocked and it's also only cash operated but I need to upgrade it to a card reader system so that it makes more sales. But yeah, those are my three vending machines at the factory. What's up guys, so it's currently Thursday, as you can see I'm changed and everything, my hair's probably grown a bit. <laughs> so I was at the factory for about two hours in which I was stocking the one vending machine up and stocked a bit of the other vending machine, the drinks one, and then just testing and ensuring everything is still working and installing the coin mechanism and all of that took me around two hours from the point I got there. And obviously that place is around 15 minutes away from where I stay. so. It's quite a distance, maybe you can include that in the time too. So two and a half hours to go there and back and do everything I needed to do there. Um, so that's two hours out of my week. And now, today I've decided, I should have done this yesterday on the Wednesday, but um, I had to deal with some personal things, emergencies and stuff like that. So I decided today I'll go stock up the hotel vending machine, show you guys how it looks over there. And then I'll tell you how long it takes for me to do that and then there's nothing else for me to do. Um, it's literally just to stock that vending machine up for the whole weekend so I don't have to go there during the weekend. And then on the last day of the weekend, I'll probably collect cash from there. And then on the Monday, I'll collect cash for the factory machines. But I think I was supposed to collect cash from that uh, factory's machine, but I decided not to. Um, mainly because I just didn't feel like it. I had gone in, I didn't have my bag, so I was like, I'm not gonna worry about it, I'll worry about it next week. Cause I don't really need the money right now, so I just let it there. So it's gonna be two weeks worth of cash that I'll be picking up the following week. And maybe when I do my next video, I'll show you guys how much it made or how much those three vending machines have made at that factory. So without further ado, I think there's nothing more for, left for me to say, but before I go there, obviously, before I go to the factory, and before I go to the hotel, I always ask the client if they would take a picture for me to show me what's left so that I know what I need to bring to stock up the machines. And luckily, most of my machines do have open glass um, screens so that you can see what products are inside, etc. So the hotel machine is looking like this at the moment. And yeah, I'm going to stock it up. I've got all, all that I need, all the drinks, all the snacks and everything that basically needs to stock up that vending machine and then we just going to fill it up now um i'll see you guys there at the hotel let's go so we're at the hotel vending machine now to stock it up um, most of the stuff that is finished is the drinks and a bit of the snacks and sweets because it is summer so people are drinking more often um, we managed to stock it up completely with all the stock that we have so that's a fortunate thing without having to worry about empty spaces or buying new things so yeah guys that's stocking up the vending machines for the week what's up guys so as you saw I stocked up that machine. There was only one thing missing, which was the Jelly Babies. And that took me about 45 minutes in total to go there, stock up, and then leave. And also that's because uh, the location itself is not too far away from me. This is what I also recommend in that 
every vending machine location that you have must be at least within 30 minutes from your home base or your warehouse wherever you decide to put your workplace that way it minimizes the travel costs it minimizes resolving issues when um, issues do occur and mechanically or in terms of stock coming out etc so and if it does start becoming further than 30 minutes to an hour and more than an hour then it becomes a case of you perhaps or possibly having to um, charge them for rental or charge them for service costs or whatever the case may be and having that in a, an agreement and PS side note if you're looking for a vending service agreement templates to use when signing an agreement with potential clients you can find my template or our template at Ornella Vending in the link in my bio so that you know how to actually have a secure agreement with them that protects them and yourselves in terms of the deal that you have of the service that you're providing and also the location that they're providing otherwise in total thus far i've had four hours i've spent three hours around two hours and 45 minutes operating my vending machine business and now i probably will have one more hour in which i'll spend during the week in which i'll probably go collect cash i'll probably stock up um not stock up but cash up see how much i made in the past um, week and then that'll be the video and how much work i've done for the whole week and i'll give you guys an idea of the amount of time that i spent the whole week at the end of the video just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like operating a vending machine business during the week otherwise without further ado i'll see you on the last day in which i'll go to my vending machine and see how much i made in the past week what's up guys so i'm back for the last part of the video in which i'm going to be collecting cash for my hotel vending machine so every week this is what i do for all my vending machines i collect cash from them to see how much they've made in the past week and to track that it's making good sales checking what sells the most and obviously restocking what needs to be restocked for that specific week going forward so on the weekend i specifically do the hotel one because during the week i only have time for the ones at the business locations or the locations that only work during business days monday to friday etc like the factory so at the factory one i'll be collecting on Monday or Tuesday, depending on how much time I have. And then I will be able to see how much I made in the past week for those, for all my vending machines. So yeah, at the end of the video, I'll definitely give you guys one more tip specifically for the vending machine business in terms of how to start. And as always, I'll give you some resources and free stuff so that you'll be able to start the vending machine business for yourself. Without further ado, let's go to the hotel location. Let's go. So as you can see, the vending machine itself, it's not as empty as it could be. Um, that's because it's been like three or four days or something in which I was last year. So I can't expect that everything is sold out. But what I will do is pull out all the trays to see what still needs to be restocked, restock what I can, take out the cash, and then we are out of here. So we finished stocking up what we needed to stock up in this vending machine now. Um, if you see there, there's a gap there. That's where the lays were. So there's still more than enough lays, so I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Um, and then we filled up the drinks and stay the ones that sell the most. And then, yeah, we good to go for the next week. What's up guys so i've officially finished my week of operating my vending machines you saw what i needed to do to ensure that the machines are fully stocked and operational um, if any issues occur i need to change certain things such as the coin mechanism i had to change um, testing that it works 
Um, in my previous videos, I gave you guys some shots of me testing a card reader, having to work on a vending machine. Um, so all in all, everything that I needed to do takes about four hours off of my week, four to five hours, let's say five hours worst case. And I have five vending machines. I have four that I'm operating actually here in PE. And then the other one is in East London being operated by my dad, as I said before. So that's currently how I operate. And this is what I had to do this week. <laughs> and in the following week, there'll be something different that I need to do in terms of maintenance. I've had these machines, all of them for at least six months now. Um, the other ones for years. So there's some maintenance that I need to be doing on them to ensure that they're operational, as you saw. Um, but yeah, guys, so I went to collect the cash, got all the cash that I needed, and then I went to deposit it into the bank so that I don't carry cash around when I'm at home or get home or whatever the case may be. I want to give you guys one final tip in that when you're operating a vending machine business, I recommend that you have a routine, a routine of how much are you going to buy of stock to ensure you have sufficient stock for the month or um, for your machines to always be full for a week. Um, if you're buying weekly, bi-weekly or monthly, whatever the case may be, have a routine or schedule in which you have a day every month that you buy stock for the beginning of the month. Um, you have a day in which you restock your vending machines every week. You have a day in which you decide you will take out, do some maintenance on your machine especially after let's say six months of your machine operating you will need to just ensure that all the spirals are working check what needs to be changed buy spares for your machine and also understanding having a good relationship with your clients so that if your machine becomes empty um, a lot sooner than you thought or had um, an idea of then you will be able to speak to them and be like hey can you send me an, a picture of the vending machine so that I can see what needs to be stocked up. This way, it helps with not having to bring all your stock that you have, but bringing sufficient stock for the vending machine. Um, so those are the tips that I want to leave you with. Um, this is the week of me operating my vending machines. As you can see, it's not much. So that's how it should be, guys, in that your location, you must ensure when you go there, you go there with everything that you need to stock it up, everything that you need to maintain it, everything that you need to service it. And then it's one and done for the week. And then the second vending machine or another vending machine at each location, that's what you do to ensure that it is operational and you don't need to go there again. Because the name of the game is efficiency and cost effectiveness. Everything you do, you need to do it as much as possible in as little time as possible. That's how you end up saving a lot of money and a lot of time in general. And then once you scale and grow to a point where you have too many machines to be able to manage in a week, you get someone, you hire someone to be your operations manager or your um, operations associate so that they are operating for you and you just collect the cash, for example. And that's the point I want to get to, but, you know, small beginnings and then we grow up to that point. Otherwise, without further ado, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe and follow and leave a comment or just suggestions or questions or anything you want to know. And I do have a free checklist that you can download from the link in my description below uh, just to help you start if you want to start yourself. And every template I've created in terms of proposing to potential clients, in terms of having a business summary to give clients or potential clients to understand what your business is about, especially if you're a startup business, Everything is in my description below so that you can start. And if you need more assistance, please email me, contact me in any way that you need, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Until the next one, I'm out.